Are you wasting time copying and pasting data into documents? Which is boring and the most awful is time consuming. In this video, I'll show you how to set up automation to merge your custom data automatically into documents and save the result back to your system, send by email, or collect e-signatures. First, you need to create a PlumSale account at PlumSale.com if you don't have one. Inside your PlumSale account, select the Documents product. You'll get to the page where you create your first document generation process. Click on Add Process. It's possible to create a document generation process from one of the ready templates from the PlumSale Documents Library. Here we collected the most popular business documents. You will be able to adjust them to your needs or to create the process from blank, which we'll do to demonstrate the logic of templating solution. PlumSale Documents supports a lot of formats. We're selecting docs and giving a name to our process. In the Configure Template step, you can upload your document and transform it into a reusable template. Most of your company documents likely have the same wording and formatting. The only thing you probably do is copy and paste your data. I highlighted such copy-paste data in my sample invoice. We'll transform it into special placeholder tokens. A token is a marker embraced by double curly brackets. It lets the templating engine know that we want to fill this dynamically. I set the tokens for the invoice number and date. I'm setting the tokens for customer details. For a collection of products, we'll set a nested token with a dot operator. The first part is a value. The second is its property. The templating engine is smart enough to identify what content to duplicate. It will iterate through all objects in the collection to render them and add rows automatically. PlumSale templates support many things, from QR codes to conditional formatting and automatic calculation. We added a sum formatter to calculate the invoice total. Our template seems to be ready. Let's test it. I filled in the testing form to see how the resulting document may look. The form's data replaced tokens, the same way data from your system will replace them. You can keep editing and testing the template right away from the editor. For example, let's apply a current date token in the US format. Then again, test the template. Great, it affected the result. We've configured our invoice template. Next, we're setting the output file properties. By default, the process is in testing mode and all its runs are free of charge. The result has a plum sale watermark. To remove it, switch to the active mode. You can make the output file name dynamic by using tokens from the template. Adjust formatting by selecting a particular locale. Also, it's possible to set conversion for the resulting document to PDF. Apply watermarks to PDF or protect it with the password and restricted actions, which we won't do in this demo video. We'll proceed to deliveries. You can automatically store documents to cloud storage, send by email, or collect e-signatures. I'll add an Outlook delivery to send the resulting document as an email attachment. I want the recipient field to be dynamic. That's why I'm inserting the email token. I also inserted tokens into the email subject and body to make my message personalized. You can add as many deliveries as you need. After setting deliveries, we can proceed to start the process. You can trigger the process by submitting the build-in web form, share the form's link with your teammates or customers, or embed the form into your site. Use Power Automate and Zapier platforms to connect your process with hundreds of apps. Watch videos to learn how to connect PlumSale documents 
to your app in Power Automate or Zapier to merge data from your systems to documents. For your convenience, all the links are in the video description.